Thank you for choosing the AuraQuick Advanced Rapid HIV 1 and 2 antibody test. This video will demonstrate the proper way to use the tester for the best results. When performing this test, the steps must be followed closely. Since no test nor test kit is infallible, it is best to confirm test results by using a licensed medical testing facility. Before testing, ensure the subject has not had anything to eat, drink or chewed gum for at least 15 minutes. Have the subject wait at least 30 minutes if they've used any oral care products. Stage 1. Collecting the test sample. Have the person being tested open the package and remove the test device from its pouch. Do not allow the person to touch the flat pad. Make sure a moisture absorbent packet was included inside the test package. If no packet is present, discard the device and obtain a new test pouch. The packet is not used in the testing process and should be discarded. Direct the person to place the flat pad above the teeth against the outer gum and gently swab completely around the outer gums, both upper and lower, one at a time using the flat pad. Do not allow the person to swab the roof of the mouth, the inside of the cheek or the tongue. Both sides of the flat pad may be used during this procedure. Stage 2. Conducting the test. Insert the flat pad of the test device all the way into the vial. Make sure that the flat pad touches the bottom of the vial. The result window on the device should be facing toward you. Start timing the test. Do not remove the device from the vial while the test is running. Pink fluid will appear and travel up the result window. The pink fluid will gradually disappear as the test develops. Read the results after 20 minutes but not more than 40 minutes. It is important that you read the results in a fully lighted area. After 20 minutes, look at the result window of the test device. A reddish purple line next to the triangle labeled C and no line next to the triangle labeled T indicates a negative test. A negative test means that HIV-1 and HIV-2 antibodies were not detected in the test sample. If there has been a possible exposure to infected blood and the person tests negative for HIV, the test should be repeated in 90 days. A reddish purple line next to the triangle labelled C and a line next to the triangle labelled T, two separate lines, indicate a positive test. A positive test indicates that HIV-1 and or HIV-2 antibodies were found in the test sample. You should visit a clinic or see a doctor for further testing. It is imperative that a positive test result be followed by a western blot or PCR test performed by a doctor or clinic to confirm if you are indeed HIV positive. If no lines appear or the result is difficult to read, the test is invalid. You should test again with a new kit. Never reuse a test kit. The included instruction sheet contains step-by-step -step directions as well as a guide for understanding results. Thank you for choosing the AuraQuick Advance Rapid HIV-1 and 2 antibody test.